So Doug, you ready to see the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie? I am, yeah, how about you? I'm, I am, yeah. Awesome, you excited? I am excited, how about you? I'm very excited, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. Yeah, we're gonna make some popcorn, get the movie set up. It, um, I heard it's, I heard some mixed reviews about it, but let's see it for ourselves, maybe it'll be good. Who knows, yeah. Yeah, so, um, when's Mark, is Mark coming soon? Yeah, he's supposed to be here soon. Hey, why is that door moving over there? I don't know. Let's check this out. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Another pool review. Hey, what's up? Kyle here again. I'm here with my buddy Doug and Dito. Hey, what's up? And my buddy March and Debbie. One and only. And we're here to review another movie review. And that is, uh, what, what movie we're, here, we're, we're reviewing, guys? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Um, we just saw it, we just got done watching it. It was on Netflix. Um, it's a Nef is it a Netflix exclusive, or? Yes. Yeah, it strictly is. exclusive. Yeah, um... And it's a, it's a direct sequel to the original 19, 1974, right? What? 1974 movie, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going like this, like, you know, like, because oh, I'm like, you both are in the middle. And I'm in the middle, and, and you guys are on the side. I'm like, take it easy, <laughs> Malcolm. What? Take it easy, Malcolm. <laughs> right. But, um, but, uh, 1974, Texas, this yeah. is a sequel to 1974, Texas Chainsaw movie. Um, and... I, what did you guys think of it? What did you guys think of it? What did you want, who wants to go first? I'm going to take it this one. All right. Ahead, um, I thought that it was pretty decent. I thought that it was a very well done splatter film that had a good, really like cool special effects and really cool, like bloody, violent, gory effects. And uh, I appreciated that. Um, I don't know. I think that uh, I think that there were some things that were missing with it, like mm -hmm. like um, like it could have been cool if like it could have incorporated more of the family members, like or <coughs> oh, excuse bless me, less, sorry, Jeff, bless, bless you. Thank you. Yeah, no going? problem. Bless and, you. Um, Keep that in there. You should. Yeah. So yeah, I, I I don't know. It had an interesting like plot, mm -hmm. like you know these like group of like what were they friends or something and yeah. they go to like hipsters yeah hipsters. and they go to like restore like what a ghost town or something yeah yeah to start a new industry yeah mm -hmm. like you know that I'll go south real quick yeah and yes it goes, it goes south, south real, real quick, quick and that's all it's pretty much the I'll same say. pretty generic like you know like movie like tech like texas chainsaw massacre movie um, but um, it's really good. I thought it was. I thought it was really good. I like splatter films. It kind of reminded me of ha like a hatchet, like hatchet with Texas Chainsaw Massacre a little bit, a little, you uh, know. Yeah, yeah. But um, do you, what else? You, what were we saying? I was saying that. Um, what do you have anything else you want to add? So let's see. Um, I liked it. I, I didn't like hate it. It wasn't the worst. It, it was a. It was a good like you know fun like slasher film. Uh, or um, like yeah, or splatter film or whatever. Um, you know, it didn't it didn't really have much depth in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I mean, even though the original didn't really either, I just prefer the original. Yeah. Because of it had the, that tone though. The original had that tone. It made you feel isolated. And there was no more. To yeah. Go. Like you're trapped. I, I know this, you, this, the feeling of sorry. Such great oh, so this. sorry. I just want to say one also one last thing yeah. that I, I didn't really get creeped out by it. It, it was it, it didn't like creep me out. Like mm -hmm. the original was creepy. Oh, so well, yeah. this is a sense of realism in what you're saying, right? Yeah. But the other yeah, one maybe great. I don't know. It, it, it was like kind of scary, but it, yeah. I don't know. It wasn't like I, I like the original because it was creepy. Yeah. Like there were things about it that really creeped me out and also scared me. This one, and obviously there's a huge, like, you know, time, like, that was in the 70s, and this is now, but, um, I just think that some, like, new, newer films and, newer horror films in general, some of them, 
lack like the creepiness that some of the older films had, the grittiness and that sort of thing. So anyway, I'll let one of you guys talk now. Sorry. It's okay. So I know you. Th you said well, you didn't. Look. I give it as well. I'm gonna establish the positive and the negative. I'm gonna go through it right now. Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to ten, I give the film a five. The reason for this: beautifully shot, beautifully directed. Uh, that's the positive. The effects were top notch. They were really good. I like the gore effects. It's just fun. You know, I like the effects and everything. Writing, not to the negative, the writing. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with. Yeah. I, you know, number one, okay, Leatherface, 1973 was when they started production on that in August. Yeah. You know, so Leatherface, I'm just <laughs> guessing he had to be in his like mid 20s to early 20s in the original film. Fast forward now to twenty, what twenty two, right? Yeah. And how would he be able to carry that big chainsaw and all of a sudden have superhuman strength, to like do all this stuff and sprint towards people with that big thirty five pound chainsaw? How could he do that? It doesn't really make any sense there. Um, where's the family? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, all of a sudden you got this. You know, and this is a lot of plot holes. I don't really care for. You know. And also that thick atmosphere, the sense of dread and creepiness of the family from the first one, I thought, which you, I feel like I just didn't get from this. I yeah. agree. And the sense of realism. The other one had, it was felt like a documentary film, yeah. honestly. When I like first found saw footage, kind of like, kind of like Cannibal not, Holocaust. Not exactly, but I sort of like I was along for the ride. Kind of felt like Cannibal Holocaust a little bit, like the first not one. Not quite. That was a documentary. No, not, not yeah, that was a documentary. But this feels like you're along, like in the original Texas Chainsaw, Make yeah. you feel like you had to take a shower. Like a biograph. Like a biograph. Or right? you more like, not a biograph, but it's like more, um, oof, like the creepiness of the tone. It made, made, like made you creepy, feel uneasy. Yeah. The original. The original did not have a lot of gore. People say it felt like, grindhouse. Such a it felt grindhouse it. Like the original felt like a grindhouse movie. Uh, Explanation. Wasn't quite. But. The gore, there's not a lot of gore. People say, oh, that's the bloodiest movie I've it's ever not seen the original. It's not the bloodiest movie um, I've ever seen. No, but if you pay, no. it's, it's just the way it makes you feel. And I think Toby Hooper and Daniel Pearl, who did the cinematography, captured that very yeah. well. And Hooper and um, uh, Kim Hinkle, they directly edited the movie together in their living room. You know, but they spent a year editing it. So they shot it in August of 1973, and then they took a year to edit the film and cut it and put it together. And then you have this. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, but this new film, on the other hand, has, you know, and to me it's just, you know, there's not a lot, I feel like it was just not really, no depth to the characters, I did not like them, you know, they did a good job, I guess, but it's not the character, the actors, well, or the actresses in that movie, it's the writing. Yeah. You know, how could you get a 78-year-old Leatherface wielding a 35-pound chainsaw sprinting towards people, and all of a sudden he has superhuman strength? You know, I like the original because it was creepy and it had realism to it. And I was like, oh my god. You know, these are, there are a bunch of crazy people in the original film. Yeah, but mm -hmm. this new one didn't feel like that, you know? Right, exactly. You know, but to me, there's just like, I, I hate to say it, so it's like just a mindless splatter film. Right. You know, but on that, you know, if you just want a fun watch, you know, if you just want a gore, like a gore fest watch and stuff like that, you know, just, yeah, watch this is a fun watch. I didn't like it, I didn't hate it. You know, but it's definitely not my go-to of the series. Now let's get down to the ratings. What would you get? What would you guys give this movie? Six point five out of ten. Six point five out of ten. Yeah. Right? So it's, it's not a full. It's not a full ten. Not. I wouldn't say I wouldn't give it a ten out of ten. No. Yes, um, I, I mean. Yeah. Mm, Cause there were things about it that I, I felt underwhelmed with. I didn't think that it was the best way to like you know wrap up like like a sequ I don't know I think that there were great things about it actually like the like looking at it from like a splatter movie perspective it was really great with the with the gore and the and 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 the violent effects but um I just felt like there was something missing yeah I don't know I just felt a little underwhelmed you know what I mean yeah yeah, like so, but it wasn't like I'm kind of like in the middle. It's like I'm torn. I'm torn with this one. So like, it was kind of like a meh. Yeah, yeah, it was like in the middle. Like it, there were some things that were so great about it, but I don't know. I, I there, there's something about it that I didn't feel really like gave it like that. 
that oomph, you know? Yeah. That oomph. That oomph. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I guess like a 6.5, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Or a 6. Somewhere. Yeah, what would you give it, Mark? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it a 5. A 5. Um, let me start off with the positive and the negatives now. Positive. Beautifully shot. Very well directed. Right? Mm hmm very good gore effects. I love that. That was like they did an amazing job with the special effects in that film. Um, not a negative. The writing. How could he be so like if I'm doing the math right, he had to be in his early twenties, Leatherface in nineteen seventy three, which is when the the original film takes place. You know, how could he be wielding a thirty five pound chainsaw and chasing after, you know, sprinting towards people and doing all those physical activities, you know, mm -hmm. at his age, you know, and another thing, where's the Sawyer family? Right. Where's Drayton? Where's, uh, where's all Dude, of them? Dude, that, 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 that's the one thing I, I didn't like about this film. And the, the whole, uh, yeah, like, I wanted to see where the was, family. Where, where, I wanted to see the family. family. That's the one thing I was right. missing about this film. Where's, I know we know the outcome of the Hitchhiker, yes, but what happened to Drayton Sawyer? The, yeah, the, yeah, yeah where's, I, I would like I to know. see, I like, like to that see character, yeah. maybe, like, at least, like, the character. Yeah, like, the characters in that, yeah. Like, he was creepy. Like, he creeped me out. Well, at least if we got to see Sally, at least. Yeah, I mean, well, here's the thing I feel about Sally. I feel like this movie kind of goes Halloween 2018-ish, where, like, oh, finally, I've been waiting all these years to meet him again. I felt yeah, that a lot, too. Yeah. Yeah. But then, I'm like, but that's, I feel like that's kind of, like, redundant. Yeah. You know, I didn't really, yeah, okay, it's a good Spider film, but I feel like it's trying to, you know, grabbing bits and pieces from, you know, David Gordon Green's Halloween 2018. Right, exactly. But... You know, I guess it, it stands as just as a fun, splatter, gory watch. Yeah. You know, is it memorable for me? Is it going to stand out? Not really. The one that always will stand out for me is the original film. No, that's just how I feel. I mean, because the, the original just is, is left a mark. Like, I you know, agree. It's just very impactful. And the way Toby Hooper and Daniel Pearl cinematography and all the people that made it on such a low budget. You know, they just, they had something really great in the can. You know, mm -hmm. and, uh, they really paved the road for horror slashers, you know, and throughout the late 70s into the early 80s. And, you know, mm -hmm. it gave a, it definitely is a landmark of, um, you know. And I think they should have shot it in Texas, this new one. But yeah, they should. I don't know I why don't they shot, shot it in Milo. And, no, they shot it in Bulgaria. Bulgaria, yeah. Yeah, they set it up. Well, they set up in Harlow, but it's shot in Bulgaria. Yeah, but the original was shot in Texas. Yeah. In the 95 to 100 degrees. It degree should heat. be in Texas. It's called the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, but that's just, you know, that's probably they did that for budgeting reasons. I don't know. Yeah. But, um. But know, I thought it was a good movie. Yeah. For what it was. Um, it wasn't the best thing I've seen. Yeah. I would have to give it, and I usually don't give what it. What would you get it? Give what would it? I give it? Yeah. Would you give Nine it? and a half out of ten. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's not a full ten on ten, not full ten out of ten. But nine and a half out of ten, I would give it because you okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm just addressing Stress. myself. Okay. Yeah, I give it a nine and a half out of ten, not a full ten out of ten, because all the actresses did their a great job. I everybody mean. did a great job, yeah. you know. But it wasn't like yeah, was, I wouldn't say it's it's a great splatter film, but I miss the family. It's not it's not on the gritty side like the originals. I like the yeah. first three, and I like the remake. But this one was, I would say this is better than the, than the beginning, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the beginning and the Leatherface one from 2017. That one was terrible. Do not see that one. Horrible. But this one was just amazing. I mean, not amazing, but it was good. It was good. I did like it a, maybe a tad better than the 3D one. That one that we saw, remember when we saw it? I didn't like that one either. Yeah, that then one again, was good. It was the same timeline issues, writing was crap. I don't know. But, you know, out of all, otherwise it was that that one I didn't really Nothing's like going to beat for. the originals on the remake. Or yeah. that, oh, it's be I can tell you it's better than... The 2003. It's better than film. The Next Generation. The Next Generation was... I didn't I, even I watch that one. one. I didn't like I that one. Believe it or not, I never seen that one. Yeah. Never saw that in my. I never saw that. I never wa cared to watch it. it. Did you ever see it? Yep. No. I never saw I it. I seen a scene from it. I seen a scene. And from it was it. ridiculous. I saw a trailer and I never watched it. I'm like, like this I don't want to really, see it. It's like, stupid. Oh my god. It's pointless. Yeah. 
you know, I didn't really. I watched that one. I rented it a long time the, ago. And the I way the leather piece looks is terrible. Yeah. You know, in that. But anyways, uh, yeah. oh, because so I give nine and a half out of ten. You give it what? Solid five. I'm still five out of ten. And you give it? I would give it like a six, six point five. Six point five. Okay. Yeah. So that, so you, you, you were, you weren't too thrilled with it, or? I wasn't too thrilled with it. I wouldn't say no. Yeah. I was kind of like, eh. I was yeah. kind of wowed by the gore effects. The gore yeah, was, was crazy. crazy. But other than that, yeah. like I don't know. I just. For me, I'm the type of guy. If I'm gonna make a movie, I think less plays with the imagination. Yeah. Because I feel like the original you, yeah. well. Yeah. I feel like the remake had like more like depth yeah. to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but see that one was gory mm. though too. It was, but, but it, I enjoyed it. It was that very, a lot. but the gore is very subtle in the way they did it. Yeah. yeah, it was very scary, and he looked very intimidating in the 2003 film. Yeah, he looked really you know? scary in that, in my opinion. And I like that they started to try something new. You know, they went with the Hewitt family. Yeah. Which right. I thought was very well done. Yeah. But definitely check out Texas Chase, the new Texas Chase on Massacre movie. Um, if you guys like spy film movies, um, and th the Texas Chaser Massacre movies, it definitely, it's definitely worth checking out. It's not the best thing, to, uh, not the best thing, I, I, I would say. Um, what do you guys think? Is it it's decent or is it like? Uh, I don't like it, but I don't hate it. It's it's, um, it's, it's if you just want to, just like a mindless, not mindless, but like just a splatter film just to watch. No, I just check it out. Yeah. You know, memorable? No, it's not memorable. No. You know, it's not iconic really, but um, has an iconic character, yes, Leatherface. But you know, just a fun watch. You know, check it out. I would watch it. You know, yeah. I did for fun. It's just a fun watch. It's nothing amazing. It's not as good as the originals, but still fun to watch. But what do you what do you think? Fun to watch? It's fun to watch, yeah. But I do agree with Mark that it's not really anything memorable or yeah iconic. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it would be go down in history like that. Yeah, like we said, uh, nine out. Of, I give it nine out of ten. Nine and a half out of ten, and you give it six. Would you say six? Six, six, six point five. And you give it five on five. a scale of one to ten. Yeah, definitely see it. Uh, check it out if you're a fan of Splatter movies. If you want to see a gory film, <clears throat> just check it out. It's an and stream. It's on Netflix. Is it on, Netflix exclusive? And Netflix only. exclusive. Not in, not in theaters. No, but uh, definitely check out Tex the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie out if you're if you want to check it out. Check it out. Anyway, though, guys, hope you enjoyed this movie. You never did. Thanks a lot for watching for subscribing. Definitely give this video, this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Please rate, subscribe. Hit up my, my, my friend Doug, Doug up on feet, on uh, where, where can they find you? Um, on my Instagram, uh, my my art Instagram, my special effects Instagram is at darkwaterfx. Uh huh. And, and there, you have a YouTube channel, horrorfxman20, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't really use it, but that's my YouTube. Yeah. And uh, where can they find you at? On uh, YouTube, you can find me at that film geek 1981. It's it's that film geek 1981. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I haven't used YouTube in a while. I'm still trying to get it off the ground my channel. But yeah, I believe it's that. I thought it was 1978. No, 1981. Oh, no. Oh, right. Set Film Geek 1981. Yeah, that's right. And, oh, you, and you have anything else you want to promote? Well, here? Kyle's going to link it down in the description. Mm -hmm. My channel. I'm still trying to get my content up and going. I only have my first film I shot back in 2015 on there now. So, Night of the Vampire. Yeah, I have a couple things planned for my channel. You know, I, it's just that I have to find the time. That's the issue. I've been working a lot, so I haven't really gotten a chance to develop a, a following yet or my channel get, to get it started, you know. But, um, and, but it's, and, it's coming, though. It's coming. And yeah. your Instagram? And my, you can find me on Instagram at the boy chain one twenty. Yeah, and I have a new Instagram. Shoot me a follow. And you shoot you a follow. Yeah. And I and I have a new Instagram, movie buff x two. If you guys you guys check me out my new Instagram, I'll put a link on this video for my new Instagram. But um, anyway, though, guys, hope you just moved you that we did. Thanks a lot for watching, subscribing, and definitely go see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. Peace. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Vroom vroom!